housed at the Boulder County Jail, pending trial. On December 3, 2021, Frank was deemed to be incompetent to stand trial. Four different doctors evaluated him, concluding the same thing in each examination. Frank's attorney, Catherine Harold, claimed he suffered a serious mental illness, yet she failed to elaborate what this illness was or how it deteriorated so rapidly. The prosecution team has requested another evaluation by their own expert, or experts, but based on the word from those four doctors, the judge ruled Frank incompetent to stand trial and ordered him to a psychiatric hospital for intense treatment. During this process, all criminal court proceedings are halted as the defendant becomes a patient, one who must undergo treatment in an effort to restore competency to participate in the case against them. For one to be considered not competent means that the defendant is unable to understand court proceedings and cannot assist their lawyer in their own defense. This determination is not the same as being found not guilty by reason of insanity, which means that mental illness prevents the offender from knowing or understanding right from wrong during the commission of a crime. On the other hand, being found not competent means that a psychiatric facility can work with or help treat the defendant with medication and therapy with the intent to bring the offender back to a place where they can grasp what is happening during court hearings and can assist their lawyer in defending themselves in court. It can be a very long process sometimes, though periodic court meetings are held to review the status of the defendant's capabilities. As such, a hearing has been set for March 15, 2022 to discuss whether Frank has made any progress in treatment, and if the trial can proceed. While it's a necessary function of the criminal justice system, the prolonged wait delays each and every victim the rightful opportunity to see some sort of justice served. This is actually the third evaluation that he's had. He was evaluated by a defense expert, then he was evaluated by two doctors from the state hospital, and then he was most recently evaluated by a doctor who we helped select. There just don't appear to be many, if any, of the typical red flags we've become accustomed to associating with active shooters. It's utterly impossible to say whether this shooting could have been prevented. While this shooter clearly planned his attack, he just as obviously kept his plans to himself and gave no impression of the hate that lived within his heart. We all have the unique ability to help prevent such a catastrophic event from happening. If we keep our eyes and ears open, and never hesitate to report when something, or someone, just doesn't seem right. It is our sincerest wish that there will be no more active or mass shooting stories to tell. We pray that love will prevail over hate. Too many have died! We should say to ourselves, not one more! In the meantime... We urge our listeners to stay aware of your surroundings and keep in touch with your loved ones. If you see something, say something. You never know how many lives you will be saving. Thank you for listening to today's episode of Active Shooter, the podcast. Remember, if you see something, say something there's no telling how many lives you may be saving. A huge thank you to Darren Curtis, who composed some of the music used in this episode. Check him out at darrencurtismusic.com D-A-R-R-E-N C-U-R-T-I-S music.com Active shooter. Reports of an active shooter. Active shooter. Active shooter. of Mass casualty incidents. Make sure to check us out on social media. We have a discussion group on Facebook. Just search for Active Shooter, the podcast discussion group. You can also find us on Instagram at Active the Podcast and Twitter at Podcast Active. For just $1 a month, you can get access to ad-free episodes early release episodes when available, and a shout-out on the show. Just go to patreon.com 
forward slash active the podcast. Thank you and be safe. Leave the Lights On is a true crime podcast with a paranormal twist. Join creator Eliza and her co-host as they explore terrifying true stories and chilling crimes. Growing up, Eliza had an odd obsession with the darkest desires of humanity and an insatiable curiosity about the afterlife. Now, each week, Eliza brings you tales that will make you want to lock your doors, hide in your room, and of course, leave the lights on. Available on Spotify and Apple Podcast.